Hey, what's up guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial. And if you watched the spring release 2025 on Maxon's YouTube channel, then maybe you recognize that some of these animations are from me. So for example, this cloth simulation and also this particle simulation. Let's just quickly jump through it. This one is also a simulation by me. I'm focusing right now in April 2025 on my Patreon on cloth simulations. I just give my old tutorials an update to make them even more powerful and beautiful. So if you want to learn something about soft bodies and balloons and in general about the simulation tools then my patreon would be a good choice for you i think like in this youtube tutorial let me just quickly give you an update on the particle emitter interactive handles i mean this is honestly like a small update but it can be pretty powerful if you do it right so let me just jump through the reel here quickly i mean you can see what is happening here so this is making the emission of particles even more easy and accessible to control them in different directions and and densities and speed and stuff like that. So with these new interactive handles, you can easily adjust your particles. And with the improved emission density control, you can see you can easily create effects like this one. So now it is really simple to adjust exactly how you want your emission of your particles. Just look at this one. I mean, pretty powerful stuff. Actually, I did the screen recording here. Okay, so I know exactly what's happening here. And it is also more easy to, for example, emit particles with the color from your texture. So you can see here with this pineapple juice you get all of these juicy particles here now getting the color from the texture and i think like this is what i want to just go with you through in cinema 4d today i mean let's be honest okay most of you are excited for this one liquids coming soon so i mean like yeah like with this release right now in spring we get just a bit of exciting stuff but i know that all of you are curious for the upcoming liquid stuff so i just can't wait for native liquids in cinema 4d i mean it's about time right i created a lot of liquid effects with nexus and also with liquid gen lately on my patreon and on my youtube but man i just want to have liquids natively in cinema 4d so i'm ready for this one I love whisker simulations, so this is what we are all excited about. But until then, let's play with what we are getting in the spring release, okay? And now I will just show you how you can easily emit particles now with the new interactive handles. And I already created like a simple setup here. This will just make it easier for me to show you the new features efficiently. So I have like a basic emitter here. And depending on if you choose a basic emitter or a shape emitter or a spline emitter, whatever you choose, then the handle might slightly vary, but I would say like the main benefit here, which I find to be the most useful is that you now have like this control here and you can see when I will drag this one out, then my particles will get more velocity. I could also just jump over here to the properties and you can see that I'm changing the speed now interactively in the viewport. You can make it slower. You can just create like a shooting emission like this one. This is just pretty handy to be able to just interactively change the velocity here in addition to this handle in the middle you also get this one for the variance okay i mean it's pretty hard to see there but now there is like a lot of variation in the speed when i would just jump over here you can see that the speed variance now is almost 50 i mean i could even increase this one to the maximum value which would be too like a crazy value but you can also just decrease this one and now the particles will almost all have the same speed let's just slow this one down all right so this is just pretty handy to be able to do that in addition to this one you can also change the direction now here in one axis like this okay i just make the speed just a little bit higher so you can easier see this one but now you can also interactively change the shooting angle like this this is also just like a little feature all right but it is just making your emission just more comfortable you can also when you hold on shift then you can change the alignment the shooting angle in the the axis this is also like a nice little feature to just get more control interactively over your particles okay i just love that stuff even though that is just like a little new feature all right let me just show you the same idea here with another emitter so this time i have let's see like a circle emitter and i think like this would be more interesting if you bump this one up to 30,000 
particles. But once again, you can see that when I would just go here, then this one is changing the speed. So I can make this one super fast, but I can also slow them down. I just have more interactive control now to change my particles. It's also fun to just do that interactively. And once again, remember this one is the variance and in the middle, this one is the speed. All right. Of course, you can also interactively change the particle emitter shape. Okay. So this is also pretty handy. Let me just put this one to a cube, for example. And then you can see that this is just super easy to change the shape of your emission. And I think like these ones, this should be like all the handles that you ever need, right? So they are all there. This is nice and good. All right. And now let's just jump over to the next topic, which is density distribution. And you can see that this one is pretty powerful. You now can just, for example, emit directly here from a noise. I'm using a mesh emitter, by the way. And when you just emit this one from a plane, set this one to noise, then you could, for example, also unfold this one. And of course, you can make this one static, but it will just be a way more nice effect when you give it some animation. And of course, you can interactively just go to different noises. This one is also pretty interesting. Maybe you want to change the scale for this one. Let's set this one to 1000. All right, that is looking nice. But this one is also beautiful. Let's put it to a booyah. Okay. And it's just depending on the noise and the settings, what kind of effect you will get here. But you can see that this is pretty powerful and super easy to set up. So I would say definitely use this feature. Let me show you the next density distribution mode, which is using fields. So for example, in this case, I'm just using a simple cylinder field. And now you can see how easy it is to use fields to have the maximum control over where you want to emit particles. All right. So I mean, it can't be easier like this one. And of course, you can get really creative with your fields here and you should. And then just to prove to you that you really have all the emission options that you ever wanted. OK, so you can also set this one to a vertex map, go to your plane, then put a vertex tag onto it. For example, then you could use a shader field. Once again, noises are just powerful. I set this one to a fun Minecraft noise. OK, something like that. Then you maybe want to control the growth of your vertex map with a linear field, just like I do it here. And then when we would activate the particles, you can see that it is super easy to control the emission now also from the vertex map. OK, so yeah, I think like you have a lot of options now there, which is great. All right. And just as a last addition, it is also now easier to create and just work with custom properties. So you can see in that case, for example, I'm working with the UV coordinates and I extract a color information from it. And then with a pretty simple setup, now I can extract the color information from the UVs and create, for example, effects like this one from a texture like that. So maybe I will share the setup on my Patreon. For now, let's call it a day. I just wanted to, yeah, just give you a short glimpse here in the new particle emission properties and mostly into the density distribution. But I know, friends, I know that you are just like me, super excited about liquids. So let's just hope that they will come soon. But until then, you can learn a lot of the good stuff on my Patreon as always. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next tutorial. Bye, everyone.